what losing my eyesight has taught me about owning a business. Hi, my name is Mark Bentz and I'm the owner of one of the largest multidisciplinary clinics in Canada. I started the virtual CEO because I wanted to take clinic owners from overworked, underpaid, to living life on your terms and a clinic that is extremely profitable. So losing my eyesight, uh, pretty traumatic, pretty intense, pretty long term. It's been over 45 years. I've got a slow degenerative eye disease that uh, has taken me from full vision down to about one and a half percent of my vision left. Uh, it's taught me some amazing things, like unbelievable things with respect to business. And the first thing it's taught me is simplicity. And in business, breaking it down, another way of looking at it would be focus, but making things simple and repeating them is so absolutely important. And because of my vision loss, I have to make things simple. I can't get lost in all different numbers in my business. I can't get lost in looking through my website and every web page. I just can't, I physically can't do it. So what's been amazing is that because I haven't been able to do it, what it's created is a focus on what really matters. And that is doing simple things that work. <laughs> they have to work. So simple things that work over and over and over. And a great example is, and I just had this a couple days ago, is I'm always looking at rebooking statistics. And so I look at every rebooking statistic for every therapist. Now that's a lot of information you may say, and it is. But if I only stare at that one piece of information and solve for it, I'm solving for about 80% of the problems in the business. Because if a patient comes in and they don't rebook, it doesn't matter about all the different things in my business that are operating. It matters that how do I solve for that? And that's working with the therapist. And so just that simple number. So if you have five therapists in your clinic, you'll have five numbers for that week. But stare at them, figure it out. What does it mean if someone doesn't rebook with that therapist? Is, it, is the therapist bad? Is the therapist not on point? Could be. I, I really, at the end of the day, it all comes down to that therapeutic relationship. So I stare down at the simple number, and if the rebooking numbers go up, I know they're building a therapeutic relationship. Now again, there's a million numbers in my business, but I keep it simple. Because I know if I repeat this over and over and over, I'm building an amazing business. And that brings me into the, the second point, is that trust. So in my life, <clears throat> because I don't see, I have to trust a lot of people. I have to trust people every time I ask a question, even walking down the street, ordering a coffee. But imagine in my business, I have to trust everybody I surround myself with. And I could say to myself, oh, I'm gonna do it myself because, oh, I've been screwed over by that employee or that contractor uh, left my business uh, and they took their patients with them. Yeah, those things happen. That's just part of running a business. You're going to get fucked over. Prepare to be fucked over, right? Just prepare. It's going to happen. It's gonna happen many times. But don't get lost in that. Don't go, oh my God, because that person did that to me, I can't trust anybody else. That completely screws you over. So understand that yes, you're gonna have that happen to you, but it was the individual that did it. It's not the other 25 people that surround you in your business, that you rely on, that are amazing, that come to work, that provide you amazing knowledge and do unbelievable work when you're not even looking. Those are the people that you trust. And so don't get caught up in the, the shit that happens. You're gonna get shit, man. Shit is part of running a business. Here it is. If you don't like shit, don't be in the business. Just be a therapist. It's a lot easier on you. 
But trust me, the people that you have around you day after day after day, those people make the business. And because of my vision loss, I have to trust so many more people for so many more things. Like I'm dealing with Emma right now before we shot these videos. She's booking all these different appointments I have. She's setting up all these different Zoom calls. I gotta trust she's not gonna fuck it up, right? I could say, oh, I'll try it myself. But with my vision loss, I can't do it, man. I could really, I could spend two hours doing it and maybe I get it done. Or I could ask Emma and she does an extremely great job of it in 10 minutes. Well, where's my time better spent? It's trusting that Emma has been with me for a long time. She knows what she's doing and she can get more done in such a short period of time, which then allows us to spend more time shooting videos. What would I rather be doing? I'd rather be shooting videos and sharing this information with you. So what has to happen? I have to trust somebody. And in this case, I have to trust Emma. Third thing, resilience. So losing your eyesight, uh, there's a lot of dark days. There's a lot of like, holy shit, what's gonna happen to my life? Holy shit, what's gonna happen to my business? Uh, oh my God, uh, what's it gonna be like in my family, my family life? Uh, like, what is it? And so every day I come up against problems that I have to solve for. And it's hard, it ain't simple. But like I say to my daughter Mackenzie, life isn't supposed to be simple. We all look for easy street. Easy street isn't where the joy is. The joy is feeling the pain and going, oh my God, I can't believe what's happening to me. Figuring it out, trusting people. And then as a result, when it's figured out, the ability to attack the next obstacle is so much easier. And of course, what's that called? It's called resilience. So there's almost nothing that I can't face. Like absolutely nothing. And I owe it to losing my bloody eyesight. Because if I had full vision, there'd be a lot of easy street that I could take that would just fall into my lap. Oh, wow, I'll just do this. Oh, I just do that. Oh, I won't have that problem of how to cross the street. Oh, I won't have that problem about how do I talk to that person when I walk into the clinic because I don't see them. Or I won't have that problem of like, oh my God, how do I look over all these numbers to keep this business alive and figure out a strategy to do so? Yeah, all those things, man. I wouldn't have if I had eyesight. But what's cool is, because I don't have eyesight, eyesight um, I've built up that resilience. I've built up that trust. And to go back to the first thing, I built up the simplicity. And so using all of those three things and going, whoa, I can't believe, 54 years old now. And I gotta say, I'm having a pretty good ride of it. And it's because of those three things. So I can't be more appreciative of what's come as a result of losing this vision. And trust me, there's a many a shitty side to losing my vision. I'd love to see my daughter's blue eyes. I'd love to see my wife smile. I'd love to see my mom. Like she's 85, she's only gonna be with me for a few more years. I'd love it, I would, but I can't. So I'm not gonna sit around and bitch and scream and pound my feet about how shitty it all is. I'm gonna sit at, down and go, you know what? What really is life about? And life's about putting yourself in the right place with the right people to do the right thing. And that's simply what simplicity, resilience and trust has done for me. And boy, I'm thankful about that vision loss. Guys, get out there, take action. We'll see you in the next video.